Hi, this is Lloyd Allen. Today I'll be speaking on the subject of meeting the needs of your wife. It's a series that I'll be conducting and today I'll be dealing with two needs of a wife that you cannot afford to ignore. Did you know that marriage is all about meeting needs? That's what marriage is about. And if you fail to meet the needs of your spouse, you will have a complaining spouse. <laughs> and particularly, um, I talk about uh, meeting the needs of your wife today. If you fail to meet her needs, and, and especially these two needs I'll be talking about today, you'll have a complaining wife, you'll have a nitpicky wife, regardless of how sanctified she is. All right? So marriage is about meeting needs. Hi, this is Lloyd Allen at Family Talk with Lloyd Allen in the morning, six o'clock every morning, Monday to Friday. Please join me right here on um, a Facebook Live broadcast. I want to use a passage of scripture today, um, 1 Peter 3 and verse 7. And the Bible says, husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Let's talk about that a little. Husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge. Dwell with them in an understanding way. What does that mean? If you don't understand a woman, you cannot live with her. You cannot have a happily ever after life with her, except you understand a woman, and particularly your wife. You must dwell with her according to knowledge. Know about her. Sometimes I say to my, my men, you must master the art of womanhood. Must understand a woman. And I want to share this with your friends after 25 years counseling couples and individuals in different parts of the world. I want to conclude with this by saying to men, you can, if you understood your wife, you can heal your marriage. Okay? Understand your wife and heal your marriage. Let's talk about these two basic needs of a woman that you cannot afford to ignore and have a great marriage. Number one, um, she must be priority in the relationship. She must be number one. You must treat her honorably. Notice what the passage says. Husbands dwell with her according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel. You must treat her honorably. So you, when you wake up in the morning, you're thinking, how can I roll out the red carpet for her today? How can I treat her honorably? The point is, if you treat another better than your wife, she'll have a problem with that. And a big one. She must be number one. You must give her priority in the relationship. Also, if you have issues you are dealing with in the marriage, you never share those issues with another, except, of course, it, it is life and death. But under normal circumstances, never share the negative issues of your marriage with another. You speak to her about those issues. As a matter of fact, um, did you know that a lot of men pay much money to the attorney and to the counselor to listen to him when, in fact, he could be greatly helped and save himself thousands of dollars if he only had a conference with his wife. You see, when God gave, gave you a, a wife, he gave you a helper. He gave you not only your rib back, <laughs> not only your missing rib was replaced, but you got bonus with that. That means you got her personality, you got her influence, you got her resources, you got her skills. So take advantage of those skills. A woman sometimes sees things from a wider perspective. She sees sometimes the full picture. And if you only have 
conversation with her, you'll realize that you may never even need to speak with that attorney. So, utilize the resources of your wife. And by doing so, she feels like you treat her as priority. She feels like you make her number one, for she's important by demonstrating that you want to hear her viewpoint. So she must be priority in the marriage. So when you have issues, talk with her about them and not another, okay? So you must also never think that you can treat another better than her. Even the spouse, even, even the, the secretary at work, your co-worker. Don't think, my friends, you can treat them better than her. And she takes it lightly. She must be considered number one in the relationship. She's priority. And she will settle for nothing else. And the day you cease treating her as priority in the marriage, that's the day your marriage begins to fall apart. Okay? So she must be treated as priority in the relationship. The second need of a woman that you cannot afford to ignore and have a great marriage is this. She, whenever she's ready to talk, you'll be ready to listen. She talks for different reasons, okay? And whenever she's ready to talk, give her audience. And don't be the reactive husband. Don't react to everything she says. You see, a woman is deeply emotional. Whenever she's ready to talk, it is not always you she's trying to get back at men. It is not just you. She's not necessarily just trying to get back at you. She is talking because that's how she sorts her thoughts. That's how she unburdens her heart. That's how she seeks to get close to you. Those are just some of the reasons why a woman talks. She talks to sort her thinking. You see, sometimes she thinks aloud, for she's sorting out the issues in her life by talking. And so men must understand this. That whenever she's ready to talk, it is not always advice that she needs. She doesn't necessarily need a fixer, a repairer. No. She just wants a sounding board. For that's how she finds therapy many times. Just by talking. It is said that statistically, a woman speaks twice as much as a man. Therefore, a man must understand this and be a great listener. Also, you know, my friend, allow husbands, allow the spiritual injunction of James, chapter 1, I think it is, verse 19, to be your foundation. The Bible says there, be swift to hear and slow to speak. It's as though God is saying, be a better listener than you are a talker. We should listen more than we speak. As a matter of fact, one man puts it this way, if I'm to learn anything today, I must listen more than I speak. Did you know, my friends, we learn more about people by listening to them than by speaking. And so if you want to learn about your spouse, if you want to understand your spouse, you must be a great listener. Okay, as a matter of fact, you speak to the men and women. You speak to the men who have been married, for example, 40, 50, 60, even 70 years. And you ask them, what's the secret of your success, my friend? What's the secret of your success in marriage? How have you been able to live with a woman for all these many years, 70 years? Almost invariably, he'll tell you, I've learned to be a great listener. That's how you live with a woman. And you cannot take everything seriously, men. You can't react to everything. Don't be a reactive husband. No, you be a great listener. And so I say, watch, watch this formula now. 
Whenever your wife is upset and ready to talk, you be ready to listen. And if you should interrupt her, it must be with the words, tell me more. Okay? So you're always a great listener. And so, watch this now. Now, why do you listen? Some people, you see, listen to reply. But you cannot be, you cannot listen to reply. Some people are listening, and while they are listening, they are just waiting for you to take a, a pause so they can just belch their point into their conversation. That's not listening. You listen not to reply, but you listen to understand. Oh, I want to understand what you're saying today. Okay. And you be an active listener, not a passive listener, okay? You, you facilitate the conversation. And you nod your head and say, okay. And you give my small comments to encourage her to talk. For while she speaks, you're saying to yourself, okay, I'm not losing here. No, I'm helping her. I'm loving her by listening to her. Men, if you are to have a great marriage, you must be a great listener. Remember that. So today, um, this is the beginning of my series, Meeting the Needs of Your Wife. I'll be having another series where I talk about meeting the needs of your husband. And remember, marriage is all about meeting needs. When your wife or your husband is always nitpicky and they're complaining and they're restless and they're always agitated, you know what is happening? They're really screaming, please meet my needs. So if you want to have a great marriage, you must learn how to meet your spouse's needs. And if you are to know how to meet their needs, you must know what those needs are. For a lot of men are, tr are trying to meet their wife's needs, but they don't know what those needs are. And she's still uncomfortable and restless. No, you must know her needs. Right? And if you'd like to find more information, visit my blog, lloydallen.org or fixingmarriages.com. And I have, a, I have a course, a small course that I've prepared about meeting the needs of your wife. All right, you'll see a link below where you can access that course with a number of videos about meeting the needs of your wife and be a happy, happy husband, all right? So remember this, forget about living happily ever after with her, except you are meeting her needs. And to meet her needs, you must understand what those needs are. I have a PDF. A list of the needs of a woman, all the needs of a woman that every man must understand if he's to meet her needs and be a happy husband. All right. This is Lloyd Allen again at LloydAllen.org. I'm going to ask you, please, for those who are joining us. Hi, Angela. Great to see you. Um, if you can just share this video, please just click that share button on your page so you can spread the word and uh, expand the reach of the ministry all right thank you so much just for sharing this video on your page and if you'd like um, notifications when i release new videos please like and subscribe so we can always keep in touch all right lloyd allen here i'm very happy to have you um joining us today any question today even as we talk on the subject of listening listening to your spouse and and making her priority all right any question as we seek to move into the issues today. We are here about fixing marriages. And if you have a great marriage already, we still want to make it better. All right? Um, so visit um, us, lloydallen.org, and be with me in the morning. As, as a matter of fact, I have uh, an exclusive community. I call it the Marriage Nurturing Community. It's a private group. And you can be a member by just clicking the link above or below, and you can join that private community today. All right? Lloyd Allen at lloydallen.org. Any question, any further question? If not, um, let me just share with you, I broadcast in the morning from my fan page at Lloyd Allen's Family Institute. So if you'd like to join my broadcast in the morning, just... Search for Lloyd Allen's Family 
Institute. All right, I did a, a broadcast earlier <laughs> today, but I figured that some on my private page might have missed it. But um, going forward and broadcasting from my fan page, of course, there I'll be able to accommodate a larger number of listeners, all right, even and, and subscribers to my page. So um, join Lloyd Allen's Family Institute. That's my Facebook page where I, from which I broadcast in the morning. Love you all. Thanks for joining. And please share your comments below if you believe that your husband should understand your needs. <laughs> and if you have a need that you need your husband to understand, drop it in the comment below, all right? Please, so we can deal with those needs as we have the broadcast in the morning. Thanks again for joining us. Have a good and good day. And I'll see you tomorrow morning, 6 o'clock. Lloyd Allen's Family Institute, Facebook Live. Thank you. Fabulous. Walk in love. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.